Welcome back. We are here on Ether looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for December 14th, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And if you want to get access to all the commodities analysis for Ethereum, you're welcome to head over to our Patreon account. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we have rallied a little bit today. So we have been rallying this entire week except for yesterday where we basically broke down but at this stage i don't think that we are going anywhere significant so this was a very um, slight rally we broke down we rallied yet again today and then we are most likely going to run into major resistance at the 20 exponential moving average if we even get there uh, the question is whether or not the MAC, uh, MACD is going to cross the signal line or we're we just going to turn around here and head south. We are not in oversold territory at this moment. The stochastic is flat. The CCI is still uh, in bearish territory. So it is not looking very promising for the US dollar index. However, if we rally above the uh, 20 exponential, we're heading towards the 50 and if we break below these previous lows here, then we're heading all the way down to 90. And that will have enormous effect on, on indices in a positive way, the commodities and also precious metals. So keep an eye on the US dollar index. It will most likely fall on Monday and that will mean that oil will rally. Uh, indices like a NASDAQ, S&P 500, they will also rally and so on. So let's look at Gold, uh, oil, sorry. We have broken down a little bit today, but not significant. So this was not a significant fall. Considering how much we rallied yesterday and broke down, you would expect this to fall all the way down towards the around uh, $45 level or towards the 20 exponential moving average, but we did not do that. Do that. So I'm taking this as a as actually a bullish shine. So if we get um, fall in the US dollar index on Monday, that means that we are going to take out these uh, previous highs, most likely. And we are going to head towards 50. That is where we're going. We could also fall back a little bit and then head back towards these highs and then go back towards 50. 50 is most likely the destination for, um, for WTI. And, well, you could argue world economy is doing really badly and so on. Uh, but you could trade the market or you can just rely on the fundamentals. And at the moment, the fundamentals don't make any sense. And uh, you just follow the trend of the market. And the trend has been going up ever since we have been down to these very lows here, uh, which is roughly... $33. So we have been in a massive bull run for several weeks now, actually a month now. So pullbacks are buying opportunities. That has happened several times on the way, and that is going to continue. So it's one, two, entry, and probably four before we, or five before we get to 50. So I'm definitely not a seller in this until we break the 20 and probably 50. I will not be a seller in this. So uh, let's look at natural gas. As you can see, we continue to rally, but we are running out of steam here. So we will most likely turn around here at the 20 exponential and head south towards the 200 moving average. So we have been doing this for a long time now. Since the beginning of the November, we have started to break down, rallied up towards the 20, broken down again, rally up towards 20, broke down again, and now we rally again up towards the 20. And I'm guessing we are going to break down yet again. So that is the question. Um, if we break down from here, then that is probably a selling opportunity, most likely. We're going to find major support here at the 200 moving average, which is also at 2.23. Uh, so, so at this point, let it rally. 
If it turns around, then it's a selling opportunity. And I don't think that we're going to get a buying opportunity until we get towards the 200 moving average. Technical indicators for this are looking very bullish at this point. So we will get a shot at the 20 exponential. And as you can see, we can stay here for basically a week before we break down. So let's look at gold. So gold has tried to rally above the 20 exponential moving average. And at this point, I think that we're just going to head towards the 200 again. Um, it is becoming fairly obvious that we are going to trade sideways for a very long time. We will most likely have a shot at this um, upper resistant line, which has been resistant for months now. And we'll most likely also get a shot at this lower support line, which has been supporting out for even longer. So we broke down towards the beneath the 200 moving average a few weeks ago and uh, found support here. And what is most likely going to happen in the future is that we're going to rally up towards this line, break down, rally up towards line and break down, or the opposite, break down, rally, and so on, until we get into this corner and there we will have a decision whether or not we break out to the upside or the downside. I strongly favor the upside because I think that gold is going to be really bullish in the long run. So 50 moving average is major resistant. So is this trend line here. 200 moving average, major support. And so is the trend line here. So we're basically stuck within this area here and just going sideways for now. If you look at the technical indicators, they are also mixed. MACD is flat, stochastic is bearish, and uh, the CCI is flat at this point, and the RSI is flat. So it is possible to trade this still. If we get really low to this area, it is possible to buy it. If we get really high to this area here, it is possible to sell it, considering that we don't break out to the upside or the downside. So Hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support this channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis. So good luck and good weekend.